Hey everyone, I've actually used the Lenovo Legion Go as a desktop PC replacement for a whole week. I worked on it, I played on it, I used Blender and Premiere Pro. And I also watched some poor pig. I watched this cute piggy. Just look at it, it's so cute. And in this video, I'll give you my opinion on how all of that worked out. And some things really impressed me, while others have been a bit problematic. So, is it good enough to replace a laptop or even a stronger desktop PC? But first, we have a quick message from the sponsor of today's video. SCDKey.com is your trustworthy key shop for software keys like official Windows 10 Pro OEM keys, as well as game keys for Steam, Origin, Uplay and much more. With my special coupon code HUB, you will even get a 25% discount on top. Just create a free account on sedkey.com, search for Windows 10 Pro and pick the Windows 10 Pro OEM key, which you can also use to activate Windows 11. And you can also upgrade to Windows 11 later if you're currently using Windows 10. Don't forget to use the coupon code HUB on checkout for a 25% discount and reduce the price to only 1642. You will receive the code within minutes after your transaction. To activate your newly received key, just press your Windows key on your keyboard and type activation into the search field. Click on activation settings and here you can check your activation status or enter a key if it's not activated yet. If you're planning on buying more software in the future, make sure to check out the SED key membership card to save even more on future transactions. P.S. If you ever happen to get a key with the link that I provided, I'll get a small commission for every purchase, so thanks up front. Okay, now for this undertaking, I was using some additional equipment as shown here. First and foremost, I was of course using my Lenovo Legion Go. I used a 7-in-1 USB 3 docking station by JSOX, which also has a display port and an HDMI port as well as a LAN port, which I also used, and 3 times USB Type-A Gen 3 ports, which I further expanded with an additional small USB 3 hub. And that actually worked really well, to be honest. I even used my two external SSDs, one being an M.2 and one a SATA SSD which did get acceptable reading and writing speeds of around 400 MB for the SATA and 700 to 800 MB per second for the M.2 drive despite being connected externally. I also used my regular GMMK keyboard and my Logitech MX vertical mouse. I was planning to use my Kingston HyperX Cloud Flight wireless headset, which unfortunately had issues and constant signal interruptions every few seconds with its dedicated receiver. So I actually had to use it with a 3.5mm audio cable instead. By the way, my Sony Bluetooth in-ear headphones work just fine, except you'll of course get the usual output delay for Bluetooth headsets of at least around 100 milliseconds, making it kinda unusable for games and even some video use cases if you're sensitive to that. Now with all that prepared, I installed all the software that I would need, configured my email client, copied all the files I was going to use from my desktop PC and kind of got really cozy with this tiny setup. Now my two monitors are a 4K 60Hz screen and a WQHD 144Hz screen as my main screen, for which I was only able to use 60Hz and I guess that's because of the HDMI port of the JSOX docking station. However, using all the three screens together worked mostly fine. And I say mostly because I sometimes had a very short black screen for whatever reason. And when the Legion Go turned off the screens to save energy, I had to manually turn on my Acer Predator WQHD monitor since it wouldn't get a signal otherwise. That's not a huge issue, but I thought that you should know that. So now, how does it feel using the Legion Go as a desktop replacement? Full disclosure up front, I kinda have a thing for only having weaker hardware which still allows you to do some work and even play some games. I just think there is something, I don't know if that's the right word, but cozy about it. It's hard to explain. I guess I just cherish that a lot, so I was really excited with this little experiment. Now I was actually playing some games on my WQHD monitor with the Lenovo Legion Go in its native resolution and with a slower real-time building game like Anno 1800, that was actually quite nice overall. I did get some stuttering, especially in the beginning of my sessions and of course when I was hovering over my biggest cities in a safe game with a total population of around 450,000, but it was actually enjoyable, even on medium settings at WQHD. 
It's not as smooth as on my desktop with a recent Ryzen 7 and an RTX 4070, but I could play like that. Also testing Fortnite at medium settings with TSR at WQHD, I basically got a constant 60 FPS plus and it was really doable while actually looking pretty good. Now, I was using my everyday mouse for this and not the integrated mouse in the right Leech and Go controller, but I guess that most people would do that in such a setup. So that was actually a nice surprise to see that this was running so well. I was also checking out Blender for a while and built a small living room for a test to see how well it performs. But unfortunately Blender is not able to use the Radeon RX 780M integrated GPU for its rendering and calculations. So it's totally relying on the Ryzen with its 8 cores and 16 threads, which of course is a fast CPU, but in Blender GPUs are just so much faster when it comes to showing your scene in the Cycles render engine and rendering the final image. Though thanks to the recent Blender updates and denoising techniques, it's still quite usable. In reality you'd actually use the graphically lower output to build your scene and then use the Cycles engine to check how it will really look in the final image. And for that you could probably do like 90% on the Legion Go of what you can do on a faster desktop PC with a strong GPU. Now here you would have to keep in mind that we're bound to 16 GB of RAM only, which would most likely slow things down in more complex scenes I guess. So I guess if you make your living with Blender, you probably shouldn't switch your workstation for a Legion Go. But being able to do advanced 3D renderings on a $700 gaming handheld, that is crazy somehow. Okay, so surfing the web and watching YouTube or listening to Spotify and doing some office tasks is basically working flawlessly, except for I did have some issues with Firefox sometimes turning black on me and crashing quite often when I was using Google Docs to write the script for this video you're watching right now. I don't know if this was just related to an issue of Windows 11 or Firefox, but again, I guess you should know that it happened. And at one point in this week, my Bluetooth mouth just lost the connection for whatever reason and had to be paired again. And the PC Mark 10 score for the Legion Go is actually up to 6500 points, which is like in the ballpark of a mediocre gaming laptop or desktop PC. P.S. I was updating the Legion's BIOS to the new version, which was released this week, but didn't notice any changes in my everyday usage. As I was using the 30 watt custom performance mode most of the time, the Legion Go's fan basically runs slightly hearable all the time and sometimes ramps up to a very hearable noise level. So most well-maintained desktop PCs would be a lot quieter, I guess. But using the quiet mode and setting the OS power mode to efficiency actually helps a lot in this case since the Legion Go almost becomes unhearable while still providing enough performance for office tasks, playing very light games, watching YouTube or listening to music and such. And last but not least I was also using the Legion Go to edit some videos with Adobe Premiere Pro. Like for example the video you are watching right now. And I was very impressed of how exceptionally well that worked. I have to point out that I had to close most other programs to free up enough RAM while editing but scrolling through the timeline worked flawlessly despite even having some color grading activated. Now okay I'm talking about full HD footage here since I am not recording in 4K but still. Even rendering the final video was quite fast and in contrast to Blender Premiere Pro is able to make good use of the Radeon RX 780M for rendering. To be honest, my desktop PC with the RTX 4070 doesn't feel that much faster here. So that is really crazy. Now, what is my conclusion for this experiment? Could you actually use the Legion Go as a replacement for a desktop PC or a laptop? In my opinion, that is definitely a yes, if you're willing to tinker around a bit get some additional equipment and probably find the best setup for you and a good docking station. And if you're willing to be a bit patient until further BIOS versions are released to fix some of the issues. But especially people that don't need a workstation and are used to like an older or weaker gaming laptop or desktop surely would be absolutely fine in my opinion. If I compare the experience directly with my desktop PC, I would say I I would get around 85% of the speed and smoothness overall. And at this opportunity I also want to point out that the overall power draw for the Legion Go is only around 
30 to 40 watt for normal office usage compared to the usual 60 to 120 watt of a more powerful desktop PC. And that is all for today. If you liked the video, please leave a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel for more Lenovo Legion Go videos in the near future. Thanks for watching, see you next time, bye bye and tschüss.